what is up everybody and welcome back to another video um yes i am back and today i'm going to create and i'm, I'm not gonna create but i'm gonna show you how to um use render passes inside of blender octane which is something that is really important uh which i've noticed because a lot of people have messaged me about how to um for example export an alpha channel image with um, bloom because when you just export it normally um, with bloom and a alpha channel image like a cube or something that glows and you add bloom to it and you export it as an alpha channel um, the bloom is not going to be there when you actually have that alpha channel image of that cube because um, for some ex for some reason blender just i don't know just just doesn't do it um it will it will do it with within the object so the cube will have bloom but everything that is alpha channel so everything that's going to be transparent the bloom is not going to be on so essentially the cube would be affected by the bloom but it wouldn't have that um glow around it of the bloom because the alpha channel doesn't doesn't do that for some reason um and today i'm going to show you how to take that post layer and layer it with a base image so you can get a um alpha ch uh, a uh, alpha channel render a transparent render with bloom glare and everything else that is inside of the post processing tab on the camera in blender octane so let's just uh, stop talking and uh, jump right in so here we are in blender and i've already prepared a project um that we're going to use Everything that is within the project, uh, this is the project uh, PT22 is going to be linked down in the description. Um, so just download this. There you go. And open it up. So these ants, these models I got from Sketchfab. I will link the um, Sketchfab, um, the download in the description below. So you can give the guy who made it a follow because he's um, giving these out for um, so you can use these um for as a free download so you can support that support him uh and yeah so let's just see how this render looks right now so this is how the render looks right now you can obviously just play around with this to um you can use this as your render i, I don't really care you can play around with the film index and stuff a bit more to make this look cool or something but um i'm just this is just this scene is just here to demonstrate how to actually export this pa uh, pass so um what we'll do is um i'll just hop out of rendered mode here and i'll render this image that we have right here so let's wait until it's done here we go here it's rendering so just wait until this is rendered there we go it's done so what i'll do is i'll just um export this save this real quick and pull it over into photoshop or any other editing software that you're using so here we have it um i'm using photoshop but this should also work with gimp and all the other free software not like photoshop and not like uh, my microsoft paint it's not gonna work in there obviously but gimp should be a solid alternative to photoshop so we now have this pass um, exported over to photoshop so what i'll do is i'll just copy this layer and hop over to another image of just some clouds that I've um, got off Unsplash. I'll also link um, that image down in the description below so you can give the guy who made this image some support if you'd like to. So I'll just paste this layer on here and I'll scale this down a bit, actually, because it's too big. There we go. So I'll just center these. There we go. So now we have these ants, but there's no bloom on these ants, no glare, no nothing, no post effects that's a bit boring so um let's change that let's delete these off of here again and hop back into uh blender so here we have blender again and what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to the third tab down here it's called view layer properties and I'll just click this and under passes right here you'll drop this down and i'll just make this a little bit bigger so you can see there you go um, preview pass type so if you click on this you'll see there's a heck of a ton of passes but don't be intimidated because we're you're 
most probably not going to be using all of these. The most important ones you're, you will probably be using is the Z depth, the volume, um, and maybe the post processing. <laughs> you are going to use the post processing a lot, actually. <laughs> so um, let's just click on post processing right here and preview this render again. So now you can see this is the, the layer that is going to give us the bloom. So let's just go back here just so you guys understand. If we click on combined and under this, this is every layer, every render layer combined that, that there is right now. Um, so, but as you can see, the bloom is not showing because we have alpha channel turned on. So if we turn alpha channel off, you'll see the bloom will appear around these ends. So let's turn on alpha channel again, go to our layer properties layer properties uh go to our post processing right here this post processing tab and check this post processing mark um it's gonna do a little bit to your image but that's not gonna not gonna change the final result um so don't be worried um so now if we export this again so if you go up to render and render image oops we gotta turn off our render viewport right here and then render image here we go so here is our and pass, uh, our and uh, our base pass again. It's our base layer, which has all the basic geometry on it with all the textures. Um, so if we now come up here where it says combined and drop this down, you will see another pass that has appeared right here. It says, it's called Octane um, Post Process. So if you click this, you will see it will give us this murky image of our ants with bloom applied to it this is our post layer this is what we're going to be layering we're going to be layering on top of our combined pass right here so i'll just take this octane post process tab um pass and click on image and save this again and pull it over into photoshop all right here we are in photoshop um just off the bat uh ignore all the tabs that are open at the bottom that are new ignore the time and also um, ignore the change in quality. I'm really sorry, I lost footage and I had to redo everything and it was a mess, but um, you guys will have to work with this. I, I guess this, this is gonna work. So um, yeah, we have our image now, our layer in Photoshop right here. And what we what we will just have to do now um, is just copy this layer right here and uh, control C, copy this and paste it onto our base layer, our uh, combined pass. So paste this and have it be above our, bows, uh, our our base layer. And then select this post layer the that we've, um, what's it called, <laughs> rendered. And then under the, where it says normal right here, under the um, blending modes, we just click this drop down window and then we select screen. Now this is um, alpha channel. So what we can do is we could just copy both of these layers Go to our image right here, our clouds, and paste this on top. And as you can see, um, these now have a uh, glow on them, bloom. So if I uh, hide this post layer, you can see it changes. There's a uh, bloom on these. So to maybe show you guys better, I'll just create a quick shape here. So have a quick, like a rectangle like this and make it white. There we go. And I'll just move this rectangle behind everything. And as you can see, um, this rectangle has uh, is uh, transparent. You can see the you can see the white rectangle behind those ants, and uh, there is indeed bloom. So um, yeah, you can now just uh, put this on your artwork or wherever you want to put it, and uh, export it. And yeah. That's, uh, that's basically it. That's everything we had to do. Really simple and easy. And uh, yeah, that's been the tutorial. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Stay creative.